It's Mila. I'm dear. Which stands for drop everything and read. Today's book we are going to be reading is A Bean, A Stalk, and a Boy Named Jack by William Joyce and Kenny Calicut. Once upon a time, there was a smallish green bean, regular as they come. The last one added the pod. Did it look like a bean that would make a difference? Did it look like a bean of destiny? Hardly. But you know, things can happen. There was also a smallish kid with a smallish name, Jack. He had a smallish mom, a smallish dad, a small, a smallish cow, and a smallish farm. That's about it. No great shakes. But like I said, things can happen, or rather, they didn't. As in, it didn't rain for so long that the crops dried up and the wells dried up. And the rivers and lakes and the moats and the bird baths. So the people were thirsty. The fish were uncomfortable, and the birds were unbathed. And the king's royal pinky had become stinky. <laughs> I require that my pinky shall be made unstinky. Since there was no water to be had. Everyone in the kingdom had to cry enough tears so the king could wash his pinky. Now this king's name was King Blah Blah Blah, <laughs> and he had a daughter who was Princess Blah Blah Blah. And she was so embarrassed that her dad was making everyone in the entire kingdom cry. That cry that she went to the local old wizard guy and said, "Please, please, please do something magical." Look how long his beard is and his mustache. <laughs> the local old wizard guy did some reading and some thinking and some drawing and some mathing and some magicking. I'm standing on a bunch of books, and you know, things started to happen. Hey, I'm a smallish. Magic bean said the bean. Ha, hey, I'm a smallish regular kid," said Jack. "Well, let's do. Well, let's do something big," suggest, suggested the bean. "Okay," replied Jack. "I like your style, Jack. Back at you, bean." All we need to do is dig a hole. Put me in it. Smooth the dirt. Drip one drop of water and repeat some magic words three times," said the bean. "Let's give it a go." Whoa! Those are the magic words. So a hole was dug. The bean was planted. The dirt was smoothed. A drip of water was dropped, and Jack said. Give it a go! Give it a go! Give it a go! Good luck, Bean. Back, back at you, Bean. Or back at you, Jack. And then things began to happen. Whoa!
Keep it going, Bean. I think I see something. You've got it, Jack. Interesting pipes, Bean. Giant pipes, Jack. Or giant pipes, Jack. Giant house, Bean. Big bubbles, Jack. Give me a little help, Bean. All right, a Rooney. All right, a Rooney, Jack. The big bubbles were coming from a really big bathtub, in which there sat. Guess who? Hey. I'm a smallest giant kid named Don. Hey, I'm a smallest regular kid named Jack. Oh, <laughs> the birds in the bubble too. So Don, yeah, Jack. Been in the tub long. Yeah, a long time. My pinky was stinky. Whoa, that seems to be going around. Suddenly, there was a giant knock, knock, knock on the door. Don, yeah, mom, <clears throat> you've been in there forever. Gee, Don, I guess you gotta go. Yeah, but first, let me help you with that toe. It's funny what a big deal a little toe can be. Yeah, you think, Jack? Trust me, Don. And Don. <coughs> Yeah, Jack. Maybe turn off the faucet. Good idea, Jack. And then Jack told Don goodbye and rub a dub dub and rub a dub dub his way home. The trip was a bit draining, but then Jack found his old pal. Back at the castle, the local old wizard guy announced, with some sophistication, "Your Highness, may I present a beanstalk and a boy named Jack." And before the king could say, "Hey, hi there," no, ho there, his pinky was unstinky. What a day," said the old wizard guy. "What a bean," said Jack. "What a boy," said the bean. <laughs> the bean turned into like a carriage for the princess and Jack. I'm thirsty," said the bean. "I'm Princess Blah Blah Blah," said the princess. "But you can call me Jill." Well, Jill, wanna fetch a pail of water for my pal? Asked Jack. Sounds fun," said Jill, and so they did. The end, sorta. <laughs> <clears throat> and that's the end of today's story. I hope you guys loved it. I know I did, and I can't wait to see you next week with another book. Bye, and remember to subscribe. <laughs>